What's up Friday fam? Welcome to another episode of Coffee with John. This week I decided to uh, switch it up with coffee cups because uh, the coffee. So now I have three stories for you this week and we're just going to dive right into them. In weed vending machine news, Colorado, they now have a machine called the Zazz made by American Green. And basically what it is, it's a weed snack dispensing machine so you can get all your snacks, your weed snacks from the machine. It looks like this. Put it. And uh, it's, it's not being used right now, but it's being shown at Montana's Smokehouse in Colorado. And it's just getting customers hyped about it. Um, the way it works is uh, you have to have a card, medical marijuana card, so you can use the machine. It's, it's going to be stocked with uh, goodies from a local dispensary. So you can get cookies, brownies, gummies, whatever they may sell there. It's going straight from there. Right now it's not being used, but they're planning to use it very soon. They're working on a few more things and don't be surprised if you're in Colorado and you see a couple of these machines just outside of your favorite grocery store. Yeah, yeah. In it's not that serious news. Cat <laughs> So the San Diego woman, she found her dream house, right? And you know, just just imagine. You're out, you're looking for your dream house and you find it. And then a mother buys that So this lady went a little far after her house was bought. She's pretty livid about this. So she took out a Craigslist ad and pretty much invited people over to that house that she wanted to buy. And she invited people to that house and asked pretty much someone to come and rape her. And the quote that, uh, this, is, this is what it said. I also love to be surprised and have a man just show up at the door and force his way into the door it totally take me while I say no. Just stop by any time, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I like the element of surprise. That's that is That is so crazy in so many ways that you would do that. Along with that Craigslist ad, she also had over a thousand dollars worth of magazine subscriptions sent to that house. And on top of that, she also advertised the house as a free Mexican fire or giveaway on the July 4th and a new high school's New Year's Eve party house. Crazy. And on top of that, she also had Valentine's Day cards sent to the woman's house from the husband encouraging members of religious groups to visit the house regularly. Um, Kathy uh, denied all these acts and calling them harmless pranks. I think she went a little far. What do you guys think? Um, Kathy, now she has been charged. She, she's been charged. In, I ain't about that life news. So this lady Suzanne, she spent 14 years with mannequins traveling the world. Basically she got sick. Suzanne got sick of uh, her family and friends asking her, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna get married? And so what she decided to do was, she got two mannequins, a man and a young daughter looking one. And she, uh, she, over the course of 14 years, she took pictures with them, and and the way she took them made it look like uh, she was it was an actual family. I think it's pretty funny, and she did this all for art. So like, I think it looks really cool. 14 years though, 14 years is a long time, I think, for for, for any art project. But um, she doesn't seem like a crazy person. But yo, just check out these pictures. Um, there is one with a, uh, looks like a 4th of July picture. <laughs> Having fun in the mountains. <laughs> Just washing the dishes. You know. Um, you know, some, some little, uh, this looks like some out of a, like, like a, like some out of a magazine right there, that one. Having coffee. Um, I think it's kind of crazy, I think it's kind of cool. But, uh, the rest of that, um, is in the links, wherever they are, below. So that's all I have this week, guys. It would help out a lot if you could, you know, subscribe, share it, like it, do what you do. Um, you know, so like always, guys, most importantly, have a great Friday, and I will see you next week.